Guess what? Uh, this, these, uh, I'm going to play 20 games all in a row, and uh, the bet here is that I have to win 13 out of 20 for Deluxe to win $15. So Deluxe is rooting for me and Captain is rooting against me. Um, I guess let's just get started. This is Earth's Lost Colony versus Alpha Centauri, which is a very troublesome matchup. Um, I have a hand basically filled with garbage, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to build anything here. Um, I think I might speculatively hold on to Alien Robot Century just because it'll be really good if I do find Space Marines, but I'm not holding my breath. Um, that's total garbage, so let's get rid of that. Um, and I have nothing. Eventually I might uh, try and get Research Labs out, but obviously that's too annoying to try and do turn one. I should at least build up a bit of a card buffer first. So let's just explore produce for now. <clears throat> this is good. Refugee World is quite strong. Uh, as Earth first lost colony, he has played develop. So let's get rid of mining robot. Trading league might be useful. We'll see. Um, and the question is whether I kind of like all in here on the research labs, and I think I should. Mostly because, um, well, I mean, otherwise I'll miss the. I don't want to play the deficit spending. I'm going to miss it otherwise. This will be a decent um, early game card source. And then I'll keep the refugee world, which is kind of nice. So I'm, I have one card, but it is a guaranteed settle if he tries to settle me, which he probably will because he just played Contact Specialist. It's seven cards to one, so I'm kind of. I'm in trouble, but. Uh, Let's just delay the game for now. Um, I'm going to explore to start, obviously, because I played Research Labs. Of course, I'm exploring. And I'll trade and just try and um, weather this storm. He's going to play a lot of, probably going to play two build phases this round. Yeah, he double settles. Uh, unfortunately, I can only play one of those. Um, okay. So, but I uh, do, so one thing that's nice is that he um, doesn't have, oh, he has Galactic Engineer, so now I can't really call Produce uh, effectively, so I'm pretty screwed. Um, this might be a quick one. Um, I can't play these. I would really love to have Contact Specialist here. The good news is that I do have a card advantage over him. So one possible line I could see is playing like explore, because I have to explore because of research labs, and then develop the colony ship or something better if I get something better. And then I can colony ship out Merchant World. That seems like as good of a strategy as I'm going to get here. So let's see. Keep called settle. Oh, which means I can develop uh, dropships. Yeah, dropships is obviously better because I can get out uh, rebel miners here. All right, let's see here. Spice World might be playable. Um, well, you know what though. Even though I usually don't like playing a second windfall, here it could be decent because neither of us can really profitably call uh, consume or can properly call produce because we both have leeches on the produce phase. So it could be good for me to just. Uh, well, let, first let's pay for the drop ships. And, and I think I'm getting rid of the colony ship plan because this is a better plan. Well, I guess let's keep let's keep the colony ship just in case he calls me on the developer. Okay. And then of course, so yeah, this is actually quite non-trivial, right? Like, do I play the develop or the settle? And I think I do play the settle here. Um, and then I'll just explore trade next turn. Okay. So now we're both low on cards. I have a free settle though, so I'm going to play the free settle and trade and hope he doesn't play develop. This seems decent to me. 
he's probably going to go for a produce here, like a trade produce, because he has a... Uh, uh, well, he might not, actually. Oh, yeah, because on my, my current board, he doesn't have anything. I only have two... Uh, I only have one production world showing, so he's probably going to call produce here. Um, yeah, because he gets a card, too, from the Rebel Underground. So I think I think he's going to just trade produce here, which means that hopefully I can sneak in the settle and do okay. Okay, yeah, so I think I'll settle trade here. Okay, he also settle trades. Interesting. All right. Okay, and we so now we have basically a, a pretty even position. Um, I have the option of playing Lost Alien Warship, which is kind of crazy. Uh, obviously, I can't play the second drop ships, but I can play. I can get it out with new military tactics if I really want to do that. Um, but I don't think I do. Um, I think I might just play like explore, develop, and I can play new military tactics if I have to. Obviously, I would prefer to play something better. Hmm. It's a tough decision. Let's see here. So I am. We're actually like exactly tied. So this is a pretty even position. Um, I think it can go either way. And. Ultimately, I think it might just be too valuable for me to get a good on this green windfall. So I think I'm going to produce. Explore produce looks okay here. Because I don't even discard if he doesn't call it build phase. Okay. Oh, he double settled. All right. Well, um, I definitely want to play Spice World. Let's play that. Discard this and mining conglomerate looks okay. Uh, it's funny that I play Refugee World and Dropships. I usually don't do that, but let's get rid of the contact specialist. Um, and I need to choose another card to settle. I think I'll just choose uh, this thing, even though it's not great. Okay, so yeah, I produce on here. Let's see. So I can't really play a mining conglomerate because he can produce some more browns than I can. And I'm I'm unsure whether I should have well I don't know. He played a, a windfall here, so maybe it was fine to call produce, but I have fallen behind a little bit from that. Um, so I think I want to develop trade here, um, and then start... The other thing I could do is I could develop produce, which is a little goofy, just assume that he will call trade. Because yeah, uh, if I develop produce and he calls trade, then I can consume my goods, and then, let's see, I can consume this good, this good, and two browns, and then produce on this brown, making a, a card, and then maybe even, probably it's unlikely that I'll be able to get uh, the brown uh, bonus, but maybe it will. All right, so let's try this. Develop, produce, let's see if this works. He settles, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> um, but he does trade. So let's see here. Let's develop the mining conglomerate as planned. Although I could have also played this, but I think it was better not to. Okay, and let's discard. Uh, I think I, I think I'm getting rid of this plan. And we'll play this because it's free. Might as well. All right, and so now I can consume uh, the Gene's World, and I can consume a rare good, yeah, 
And I'll probably produce on this brown world. And then, oh, he played new RV. I can produce on this. And then I will, I think I have to do it on this guy because I'm not trading anytime soon. Oh, diversified economy would have been great. Uh, but it's kind of too late, isn't it? So let's just consume produce for a cycle here. Uh, I will pass, I think, on that. And he, he's consuming too? Wait, did I mess up here? Are we going to drain the VP pool? I can't really tell. Well, anyway. Um, there we go. I hope I didn't just blunder. First lost colony. Okay. And produce. Let's see, did I drain the VP? Okay, good. So there's four in the VP pool, so it will drain this turn. Um, and I'm hoping that, so I, I just have to explore consume because I can't play, I'd like to play the diversified economy and Empath world, but I can't play both obviously. So I'll just uh, explore consume. So hopefully, okay, so he will actually beat me if that, if I do that. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to lose this first round. Yeah. But I don't see a better play here. Yeah. Too bad. So I think I'm going to lose the first round. What did he do? He did settle. So I can play this for an extra consume. That seems like my best play. This mining league would have been nice. Okay. And let's... Consume the rare goods first. And consume a random thing. And this. That was a pretty awkward draw, I would say. Um, so I lose by seven points. So now the score is. Let me open up this text. Zero, 01. All right. This is a kind of an awkward spot to put it. Let's move this somewhere, like here. All right. Next game. Hopefully, I'll get a better draw this time. Let's we'll see. So this is a nice hand. Um, I even have expanding colony to combo with my corner chrome penal colony. I don't know if I'll play it. I'm obviously discarding the Galactic Renaissance. That thing is garbage. The new military tactics is kind of good. I think I'll keep the military tactics over the deficit spending. Deficit spending is kind of a niche card. It's, and it's usually not good to play early when you are obviously like really hurting for cards. All right, so I think I'm just going to settle straight here. Oh god, he played Plague World. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now I think I need to double settle. Um, he will certainly just trade produce here, but I can punish that I think with double settling and uh, bringing out Comet Zone and Expanding Colony. Expanding Colony will top here. So yeah, I think I'm just going to double settle. Yeah, so he trade produces. Um, Let's see, do I want to play Expanding Colony first, or do I want to play Comet Sun first? I think I'll play Comet Sun first. Uh, this is definitely good. Let's play this. Um, ooh, I got a Consumer Market, so that's kind of nice. Okay, let's choose my payments. I think I'm going to get rid of this garbage card. Alright, and let's choose this to settle. So he... He got a runaway robot, which is kind of rigged. It's free, free play on Alpha Centauri. That card's uh, Alpha Centauri is really good. Um, 
But the good news is, so I'm going to just discard everything except for consumer markets, which is quite strong. Oh, nice, and I have a free play. Um, so if he develops, then I'm screwed. But if he settles, then I'm good. So let's just explore trade, I think. Because I'm down on cards, so there's no reason for me to play a build phase. And he does settle times two, which is actually fine for me. Um, I could plausibly play Pilgrimage World for two points. Um, I could also play a uh, black market trading world, which will let me get two cards back, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's hard to say what I want to do. Um, but maybe just the desert alien colony to like draw five cards is pretty good. Hmm. It's really, I don't know, these are all pretty good cards. Um, let's get rid, let's abandon New Earth. I think ultimately I just want to get new survivalists plus consumer markets up. Okay. So obviously I'm settling this first. Um, and then for my second one. Oh, I see, he consumed. Okay, he didn't. And the, the X2, I'm sorry, I'm new to this interface. This subtle X2 looks like it means he's settling twice, but he just consumed, which means that I'll be up on cards by a lot. Okay, and uh, let's just let's use the draw card. Okay. All right. Um. So now he has five cards. Why did he consume? Man, that seems risky on his part. Um. I can just uh, develop, produce. He only has one producing thing. Oh, I see. He got Tourist World out. So he's going to get a six. He's going to get eight BPs a turn. Okay, actually, that's pretty scary. Uh, so, yeah, let's. So he's obviously producing this turn. I will develop. I could also double develop. Oh, yeah, I should. So I don't have to worry about calling produce myself. So I will just punish by double developing, I think. Because he will just produce for me anyway. He has to, basically. Oh, and never mind. He doesn't he needs a uh he's missing a way he has two brown windfalls, which hurts him. So yeah, I think but I think uh, double developing is pretty strong here. He will obviously call produce. Yeah, he explore produces. Um I will keep I don't need the terraforming robots, obviously, because I have one already. So I'll play public works first. Oh, he got mining robots. Ah, okay, well. Um, but then I'll play this. And let's see here. I will get rid of... Black Market Trading World is now kind of garbage. This is still nice as a low-card play later. Um, and I do have a, an extra windfall slot because this is technically like one world. <laughs> so I think I can call onto this. So I will get rid of these. Oh, but do I want, I think I want Galactic Trendsetters here. It's pretty strong. Okay. Um, so now I can just play another build phase, uh, like develop here. I can just develop here and consume and he will uh, turn the crank for me, and I, I think I'm just going to get ahead on cards while making the same number of points as he does. Um, let's see, in the last turn, I should play Galactic Trendsetters, probably. Although he is going to make 8 points, so now actually, maybe I'm behind too much here. Uh, I 
still don't think I have a better play than develop consume. I can also settle this, but that's kind of too... I could like double settle or settle consume maybe to... Uh, but I feel like settling this right now is not the best. I should wait until the game is closer to being done, because if he gets an extra world into his crank, then he's just, oh man, this is just disgusting. All right. Uh, so it's either develop, consume, or settle, consume, I think, are my options. Um, develop, consuming will let me consume and draw a card with terraforming robots, which is decent. Um, Yeah, okay, let's try that. Oh, so he plus fives. Interesting. I'll discard this. And I will develop this. Oh, and he's going to drain the VP pool, isn't he? Well, this is the, this is the kind of thing that I should probably be tracking. All right. Uh... Okay, so this I can do here, and this I can do, yeah. Okay, is the game over? No, there's one left in the pool. Okay, so I didn't miscount. So, but unfortunately, oh, but now, even though the, yeah, he didn't produce. Why didn't he produce? That's so weird. So now I can just, like, punish him with a double settle and catch back up. Oh, that's exciting. All right, yeah, let's just double settle here. Oh, so he's going to get, oh man, okay, so he settled consume, so he's just gonna settle a windfall and consume to end the game. All right, well, let's play this first. And then I think this, I mean, this is the most points, so I just have to play this. And then I will lose again. Yeah, okay. Let's see, five cards. So this time I lost by three points. Ew, okay. This is looking bad for Deluxe's bet. And what are we Sorry, my cat gets into the plastic and it like drives me crazy. All right, so I'm O2. That's not so good. All right. So this one. This one I have a pretty strong hand. I think the plan here is just to gem world if he plays subtle and to uh, play investment credits if he plays develop and then just trade produce. Pretty much no matter what he does here, I think I can, yeah, I think I've got him. If he like, obviously, uh, oops, if he like double settles or double develops, then I miss it. But I miss one, but I don't think he can do that usually. So let's just go this. So he double develops. Yeah. Okay, but the good news is that he can't like, okay, yeah, pass on that. So he got, he didn't even get a head, well, yeah, so he got a head by three points, but these aren't going to do that much for him, I don't think, long term. I can just trade produce again. He's at three cards now, and I'm at five, so I'm just going to keep gaining and cards until he does something. Okay, so he settles. Oh man, I can settle New Earth. That would be pretty sick. Uh, I think I shouldn't though, even though I have Mining League. Well, if I, if I settle New Earth, then I will discard Mining League. So let's settle Gem World here. And then the plan will be to settle New Earth and Mining League eventually. Okay. Um. So 
So now I can still trade produce. And so I probably, except for this time, I don't want to trade produce because uh, I have two things out. I should probably, like, I could settle trade <clears throat> and get rid of all my stuff. If he calls develop, then I can use colony ship on the new earth. That's pretty strong. So yeah, let's settle trade. Even if he calls develop, then I can play colony ship here. Okay. So let's play this. And let's get rid of everything but Mining League. I think Mining League is going to be pretty strong for me. And let's trade this. And let's consume this. That's pretty strong. So now I'm ahead on cards, even though... Oh, and he produced for me. That's nice of him. Uh... So let's see here. I can develop Mining League in trade? Yeah, because he's probably just going to trade produce. Well... Maybe not. I think I gain more if you if I if I produce. So I think I'm just going to develop trade here with the option select of either playing mining conglomerate or mining league. Okay. One card to discard. What did he play? He played explore produce. All right. So yeah, I think this game is pretty much over now, because I can just consume produce for the rest of the game with Mining League up. Yeah, because he produced. if he produced, I wanted to play Mining League, for sure. Uh, let's just discard everything but the brown world, I think. Oh, well, actually, we can keep... Uh, keep Deficit Spending? Yeah, let's keep Deficit Spending, why not? Okay, and I'm trading brown <clears throat> and consuming this one. All right, so now I have a bigger ramp than he does, and a yeah. So this game is over. I'm just going to consume produce for the rest of the game. He will settle this. Yeah, sure, I'll play this. And let's get rid of. Oh, I can play rebel miners after this. Uh, I think I will get rid of Free Trade Association Genetics Lab. This actually might get played, we'll see. Um, two barrack goods, excellent. Okay. Doesn't matter. Well, it's good to win one after losing the first two. That was kind of scary. Um, yeah, let's get this. Okay, game's over. I win. So, uh, let's change that. So I'm now 1, 2. All right. So let's play another one. <clears throat> this is a nice hand. Look at this. I have Spice World and I have New Survivalists. And I have diversified economy in mining. Oh man, this is a pretty good hand. The only uh, downside here is if I uh, uh, if he calls develop. So I think I just want to settle produce here, and then I can settle trade, playing Spice World as a surprise. That seems pretty decent. I could also do some tricky things like explore trade, explore produce, but I don't know. I think it's. I don't think he has a better play than the new survivalist, probably. Alright, what did he do? He did subtle produce as well. Okay, so we're. He probably got identical. 
Oh, but his, his is worse than mine, right? Because he had to go down on cards and play that. So now I can just um, settle trade and make bank. Because I have Spice World and he doesn't. Oh, you, you explore. Oh, let's actually get rid of this. Well, if I draw drop ships, I can play this this thing. Uh, okay, let's just get rid of this. Okay. Wow, he double explored. Rather than uh, trading. Maybe that's correct. Um, Alright. And now I have two production worlds. He's got one. Um, I think I'm. I just win. He has four cards, so I can actually settle produce here and just keep punishing him for having a low hand. The only downside is if he plays develop, then I can't play both diversified economy. And this, I could play like new military tactics. I don't know if that. Yeah, I guess I would just play new military tactics and likely not even. Well, yeah. Let's use that. Let's let's see this. Settle produce. You develop settles. Okay, so yeah, I can't play mining world and this in the same hand, right? Let's hear one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's no way. So let's just play uh, not contact specials, new military tactics, and maybe I can play. Uh, I can sack it for a, a card later. I can't sack it for a mili rebel up, military outpost, not annoyingly. I think I'm holding on to the first five economy. Okay, so I draw two. He's got one. Um, he only he also doesn't have a consume power. So I can just trade produce and get more than he does, I think. Actually, no, it'll be the same. Well, no, he'll, yeah, he'll... Mm, okay. Let's see. Yeah, actually, I can fill up my hand with trade produce. But it might be better to... Um, now nah, I'll just trade produce, I think. Because I don't have a, a decent action. If he calls settle, then I'm, I could play genetics lab, but I probably won't. Okay. He double explored again. Interesting. Yeah, he's he's kind of screwed, I think. I guess I'm keeping this. No, keeping this. Oh, read Twitch chat. Captain, no, you should uh chat here. Well, fine. Okay, let's let's I can read Twitch chat. Oh, here we go. There's lots of people ch chatting. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had no idea if people were uh, oh, were chatting on Twitch. Okay, so anyway, I will trade this. And uh, consume this and consume this. So that fills up my hand, which is quite nice. Ooh, and I got Galfed. Oh man, it's all over for him. Okay, so uh, let's get rid of I think I'm getting rid of genetics lab. I might actually play colony ship somehow. Um, so let's see here. Right now the my main issue is that I'm missing a consume power for my engine. And Diversified Economy doesn't quite get me there, because I, I would need a uh, green world to play. So the puzzle here is getting out uh, a green world and getting out Diversified Economy in the same go. Um, the alternative is I can just go Galfred, which is <laughs> Definitely defensible here. Let's see. Yeah, I can play the military, the green military world, off of uh, military tactics. I could just ignore Galfred here. Like that's 
which is something I don't usually do, but I can definitely do it. Um, yeah, I think I might just call two build phases this round to set myself up for the next go. Um, I'll still get some cards off of New Survivalists and Epsilon Uridani because I'm assuming he's going to trade here. Okay. Yeah, let's just develop Settle. I can settle either Lost Species Arc World or... Uh, yeah, so this, this looks okay. The other, the other option I could just... I could just Man, it's, it seems so crazy not to play Galactic Federation. <laughs> I can just develop Galactic Federation and trade and recruit my hand, and now I have Galactic Federation in play, and everything as well. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I don't, I don't think it matters really much. I think I've won this game, so... Oh, he settled for me. That was quite nice of him. Uh, so do I go with my old plan, or do I just play Galfed? Let's see, is this thing even worth any points here? I have no Gene's Worlds yet. I will have one, so I don't think I'm going to play. So I'll, I'll develop Galfed. And then I will... Uh, let's see here. Discard this. Maybe keep Colony Ship. Um, I should keep... This too, I think. This is playable for free after I play Rebel Warrior Race. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that, I guess. Oh man, I have a lot more cards I need to get rid of. Uh, and... It's Colony Ship not happening. It feels like I should play discard both of these if I'm not gonna, if I'm not gonna play that. This seems okay. This seems like a decent plan. Okay, so let's play this, and uh, pay for that. Okay, and I can trade my green good, my blue good. It doesn't actually matter, I don't think. Let's keep my green good around. And then I have to consume this, and consume this. Okay, so I'm still winning. He has eight cards. He has no production engine, so I'm just going to develop produce here. Especially since he already has a good, well, yeah, maybe it's fine. Lame duck game is trash. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just going to develop uh, produce here, I think. And then start consumer producing every turn with diversified economy. I think it's fine. Double settles. Does that change my plan? Not really, I don't think. Alright, so I play this. And I get rid of... Is Expedition Force useful for me? It might be. Let's get rid of Distant World and Plague World later. Those things are useless. Okay, so let's settle this first. Um, and then I think because it's free, I'll just play Uplift, okay, drawing some cards, and then I'm just going to Consume Produce for the rest of the days, because he has got a lame Produce Consume Engine, and I'm up on BPs, yeah, so the game's over. Okay, he will Consume with me, but it does not matter. Consume three kinds. Yeah, okay, that's what I want. Okay. And then I want uh, this thing. And then... Oh, hey, you know what? I don't have to get rid of this windfall. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's discard the research labs. Definitely don't need those. And then the alien tech. Yeah, okay. All right, and let's just consume produce again, because I am making more than he is, right? He's making six a turn, and I'm making eight a turn, and I'm a bum, so. Okay.
let's click. I wish, uh, this is like one of the times where I kind of wish that the computer would concede. Because like in a regular match, the player would have just conceded by now. Okay. Seven cards to discard. <laughs> All right, I don't think it matters much, which I, oh, let's keep this thing. Honestly, Old Earth would be decent. Okay, game's over. I could have, like, called build phases, but, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, the game's over again, okay. I could have, like, explored, I guess. Alright. Let's update my record. Comeback is coming. Man, I was a little tilted when I was when I lost the first two. But, uh... Things are going better. Yeah, you're right. I should have... One thing I... Whenever I switch interfaces... I have trouble remembering to make sure that the game won't end from VP uh, deficit. So that's one like tiny thing that's giving Captain advantage. I think is that like I think I'm going to like it takes me a while before I start remembering to count VP pools in a new interface for some reason. Okay. Ooh, wow, I've got alien robot sentry in this game. That's pretty good. Um. Guess what do I keep? So I, I need. Like a filler development, new military tactics seems like it's fine for that. Galactic Imperium sucks. I kind of want Outlaw World just as an emergency play. Um, yeah, okay. So let's sell trade. I don't really think there's anything better to do. <laughs> he said all produces. And let's trade. All right. Um, so he only has two cards in his hand, so I can just double settle this round if I want to. Unfortunately, I don't have two producing worlds, or else I would. Um, he will probably just like trade produce or some lame thing, some lame garbage like that. Um, so yeah, let's just settle. I definitely want to get the rebel miners out while he has two cards in his hand. So I think I'm just going to double settle here. That seems pretty decent. Well, I could double settle or I could develop settle. Um, it's tough to say. If I had like a better yeah, because the problem is I already have a windfall settled. I don't like settling my second windfall. So I think I will just develop settle. It's it's like obviously you prefer to double up on a phase if you can, because it's better to put pressure on like one part of his hand. But I think this is fine. Okay, so let's develop uh terraforming robots. It will go well with uh the Earl Miners anyway. And I'm discarding this, of course, and then you know, I might play Merchant World, maybe. It's hard to imagine, actually, that I would, but... Um, let's discard the Replicant Robots. Well, actually, Replicant Robots could be fun. Um, Galactic Resort? I get get rid of this thing. It's pretty shitty. <laughs> Alright. Okay, yeah, so we missed his develop and he missed his set, which is pretty brutal. Um, AI Chan, poor AI Chan. Um, and so now I could, like, there's a couple options here. I could, like, settle the merchant world and trade and recoup most of my costs. Um, the other thing I could do is I could just trade. I almost have a better engine than he does, but I don't really think I quite do. So I don't think it's worth it for me to produce yet. Um, I think settle, settling Merchant World is pretty decent here. He's on four cards. If he get, the problem is if he gets another blue world, then... Hey, Copper. If he gets another blue world, then it's pretty bad. But then again, I have to like, the nice thing about the Merchant World play is that I have a lot of garbage in my hand right now, and it'll be nice to just get a new hand. So 
So let's do that. Let's just settle trade. And basically, it cycles through my hand. Okay, and hopefully he doesn't have a play. It'd be funny if he didn't. Um, so let's settle. Merchant World. And like, see, I can just discard like this card, this card. All of this is garbage, really. Um, this card. And just keep diversified economy in my hand because it'll be pretty good if I draw if I get like a blue world or something. I trade. Oh, he missed it again. Oh man, this poor fucker. Uh. So like, if he didn't have a settle when he produced, then I can just settle again. Uh oh, I have to decide. I don't want to use this ability yet. Okay. Choose up to two cards, consume one, merchant world, done. Okay. So I think I can just settle and develop again. My other option is I could. Yeah, I think I'm just going to settle trade. Uh, oh, he did, he did draw two cards. Okay. Is it six cards now? Uh, so, I could actually also um, settle Tourist World and then immediately produce and just start consume producing. But that's stupid. Let's, uh, let's develop and trade here. Because I can get diversified economy out. And uh, I don't have to worry about going over cards. <clears throat> Because of Merchant World. This seems like a decent plan. Oh, he double settles. Oh, that's spicy. Okay. So, that might change my play. I might just play investment credits this round. No kitty. Go away. That plastic is not for you to eat. Hold on, I have to throw away this plastic. This cat is crazy. If I let Sigma just eat the plastic, then uh, he, uh, then she, she'll just barf it up later. Okay, so I think um, I'm trading this turn, so maybe export duties is a little better. Maybe not, though. I'll just play investment credits. Who am I kidding? All right, investment credits. Um, all right, and so now he's double settling. I can actually play Spice World and Tourist World, right? I have the power. So let's play Spice World. Discarding Diversified Economy and oh, this garbage. And then, yeah, I have. I can settle Tourist World now. Wait, did he call Double Settle and Mrs. Settle? Maybe. Why can't I see what he settled for my second settle? It's definitely different from the regular version. You can definitely see what the person settled in their first phase. Okay, yeah, so. Interesting. All right. Um, so four cards. All right. And trade. Okay. So now I am just going to. Uh, okay. I don't want to consume from my hand. All right. So now I can just explore, produce, or develop, produce. Yeah. I'll just develop, produce, getting. Diversified economy out, and then I have a great engine. Although a confused one because I have a tourist world and merchant world, but okay. So, yep. So let's just develop, produce here. The double settles again. What the hell? Okay. Why did he double settle here with four cards? Is that real? I I did not see that coming. Okay, uh Yeah, 
MP double settled. Okay, well, whatever. I'll play this and then I'll skip a settle. Pilgrimage world. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. It's just resigning. Yeah, that's. Oh, wow, look at what I drew. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay. Then let's just consume produce until the end of time. Although. Maybe, no, I'm just going to end the game faster by develop consuming, because I'll end the game. Yeah, that's a good point, that it's maybe just conceding. Oh wait, so wait, maybe actually new economy is more points. I think it is more points, right? Because I have tourist world, this is worth two points, that's three points, four points. I think this is worth more. <clears throat> I would pause and count if I thought it mattered, but it does not matter. Ooh, let's draw one. All right. And then I can consume two rare goods. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, this one and this one. <clears throat> two kinds. OK, consume from hand. That's what it's called, consume from hand. Okay, <clears throat> 39 to 17, that was close. Yeah, auto-calcing, I wish it would auto -calc it. Um, But it did not. But the comeback is coming, 3-2, as predicted. And let's keep going. Feels like I'm getting new Sparta every game. Uh, oh, New Finland. I got New Finland and I have Public Works. I also have this Outlaw World if I want it. So I'll discard Replicant Robots and Prosperous World, I think. Um, so I could double settle here by putting out Outlaw World and New Finland. I don't know if that's amazing to do. My my issue is I'm gonna like have serious card flow issues for the foreseeable future. Uh, I'm assuming he just plays trade produce. Hmm. So I don't want to develop settle, but I think I think double settling is okay here. He's probably not gonna get much out of the second settle, so I might as well just cycle the outlaw world. <laughs> okay. Okay, he trade produces, so I will double settle. Settle this first, I guess. I don't know. Why not? And I will discard everything but public works, which I still want. All right. And I will just explore, I think. I can explore produce. That's not terrible. If he plays a settle card, then I'm kind of fucked. He has seven cards. Explore produce is kind of goofy. I'm assuming he will trade here. He might not actually trade. <laughs> It'd be a disaster if he didn't trade. But I think he will. He probably, he probably will. But it still might be safer for me to just double explore. Actually, I'll explore develop. Just because I have this safe play at Public Works. <clears throat> and that generates the most cards for me. I'll double develop. Ouch. Okay. This is looking rough. I won't lie. Alright, so I will develop this. Oh, and see, this time I can see it. This time he double developed and I can see it. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, interesting that you did not choose to trade. I mean, it makes sense. Um, and I think I'm skipping the second develop. Okay, so now he will probably just... Uh... So now I think it's safe to explore produce. I certainly don't want to develop again. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe explore develop. And play like deficit spending. It's card neutral at least. Yeah, let's just do this. I think I, I, I mean obviously 
because I have public works, it's kind of okay for me to call develop phases. Oh, yes, investment credits. <laughs> Sign me up, baby. Unfortunately, it's double settling, so I'm just like fucked. <laughs> okay, uh, let's develop this. I could play this. I can play Alien Rosetta Stone if I wanted to. Um, but it's awful, so I won't. Okay. Um, let's see what else did he can bring out. All right, and he still hasn't traded. Maybe I should have traded already, but I guess he like he's smart. But I mean, it's smart not to trade. So. Um, all right. So, I have nothing. So I will just continue to explore the phone. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, this is not great. Alright, he finally, uh, oh, I got, I got all three of the, uh, the bonus worlds, that's fun. Okay. And let's see, this time I will settle, I guess. Uh, unfortunately it's gonna just get eaten immediately. But yeah, I think I still do this. Well, actually, I could do this, and, uh, yeah, I guess I'll do this. And then I can play this for cheaper next turn. Oh my god. This hand is so bad. Alien tribal, <laughs> okay. Um yeah, I guess I guess I'll play this. <laughs> uh the only thing is I can't even play this in my hand, but do I discard it? I mean these are all worthless, right? Ugh. Alright. Okay, so it's actually, you know, I'm not that far behind. It's only 9 to 12. Although he has a lot more planets than me. They're all windfalls. Maybe the comeback? The comeback? Alright, so I think now I'm just going to settle trade to recoup my hand and play the stupid shit. And this, in this way, if he produces, which I'm pretty sure he will just produce. Yeah, he produced. Great. He can soon produce. That's... Yeah, okay. Oh, I played Lost Species Hard World? Oh my god. Alright, so uh, let's do this. So three cards, I get to get rid of this card, this card, and this card, I guess. No, nah, I think I think consumer markets is a dead dream. Let's play this. Let's let's keep this around. This is a decent late game play. Alright, I get the trade. And I get a good on my alien colony, so that's pretty cool. He has six cards, and I have seven, so I technically should be... I think I will start developing here. I can develop trade. The problem is that with develop trading is... Uh, so, I can dev dev. But then he'll just like consume. Oh, but New Vinland will leech. Yeah, this is a fine de double develop by maybe. I think that's the only way I'm catching up is if I like draw into Galfed. All right, let's discard this because I already have one of those. All right, so I think the first one, I think new deficit spending is definitely a yes because when the game ends, I can discard two cards for two more points. Probably. Okay, so let's play that. Ooh, Space Marines. Like Merchant Guild? You monster. He explored, consumed. Is that is that the play? <laughs> Shouldn't you trade? Do you really hate cards that much? I mean you're gonna score four points, but then you're gonna have one card in your hand. <laughs> I I uh that is a questionable decision to me. Um so I think I'm just gonna play the thing that costs the most because I'm going to be recouping my hand anyway. So let's play this. I could also play Space Marines, but I don't have any good high... The Space Marines is an interesting one, because I might draw into like an alien or something, but... Why does the engine hate cards so much? Okay, so let's see here. So... Uh... The, 
The only problem is I can't double develop next turn because I don't want the game to end yet when he has no cards in his hand. So I want to like produce. He doesn't have that many explore powers. He only has two explore powers. Alright. Um let's not discard at random. I guess I should keep uh this and I think black market trading world is uh, Okay. Let's see, it's, it's hard to say what I should really keep here. Alright, let's try this. This. Okay. Oh, well, that was a free windfall. I don't know. Uh, so he has three cards in his hand. So I think I'm just going to... I can either settle consume or develop consume. Uh, so let's definitely do this, getting rid of this, and that is pretty good. And do I want to... Okay, so I can, I can discard cards if I want to. Ooh, I can play this for big points. Might be like a double subtle next round. So again, Punish is a really low card count. Although he'll have more cards next round, maybe. Um, actually, no, he won't. He's already drawn, yeah, okay. Um, none. We can do select none here. Let's get to none. Um, I think I want none. Done with consume. Okay. All right, so now I think I play... So I don't want to end the game yet. I want to draw it out for one more turn, and then maybe like produce. I don't know if producing helps me or him. Probably it helps him more. So I think I'll just like explore plus five, and then settle to max points, and then look for more points. Because look how far behind I am. See that? Um, You denied the alien warship. Yeah, sad. Um, so, he has a 4 VP uh, consume. So, if I produce here, I can settle produce and then settle consume. So, first I would settle just deserted alien library. That might be the best. And then I can settle Tourist World and consume a lot. I think that might be my best play. Okay, let's try that. Explore plus five settle. Interesting. Okay. So I will settle this bad boy, I suppose. Let me make sure. Yeah, I, this costs only four points, only four cards for me, so it's pretty strong. All right, and let's get rid of all of this. I suppose I should keep Pilgrimage World around just because it's two points. Oh, whoops, I don't need this. I don't need to scare this many points. Okay, four cards. Uh, keep that. All right, now I can settle Consume, and that's a decent amount of points. But maybe he still wins. Why not use deficit spending? Yeah, maybe I should have used deficit spending. It might not matter. Okay. Uh, consume two goods. Let's see if I actually lose. That would be embarrassing if I lost. Uh, Okay, three. Oh yeah, I'm gonna lose because I didn't use deficit spending. Oh no, I, I won. I won. Come on, this is fine. <laughs> okay, but yeah, maybe I should have used deficit spending on that one turn. At least discard one card. Yeah. All right. 
Your money is safe, Deluxe. Okay. The, I don't know, discarding um, before the end of the turn maybe was smart. Um, it was hard for me to think about. Uh, I should have I should have counted how many cards it would require to play Deserted Alien Library and Tourist World. Uh, I think it sense it felt like I needed all the cards because Alien Rosetta Stone. But I, I didn't think about Alien Rosetta Stone. I didn't think about the Alien Tribal bonus. So I think that's why. <laughs> all right. Well, let's go. This is kind of fun. It's kind of fun to be gambling with other with Deluxe's money. That's what it feels like. Like. Uh, I'm just like free rolling. Uh, okay, so four two. Here we go. Um, this hand really sucks. Get rid of consumer markets here, because the colony ship might happen. The colony ship dream. Obviously, I don't have anything in my hand that would indicate that I would need a colony ship. But the Alien Tribal 1, that's kind of cool. I'm just going to discard Colony Ship. Colony Ship is a bad card. Okay. Um, so I think I'm just going to explore trade. I don't want to play any of this garbage, actually. So I think I'll just explore trade. <laughs> and if he calls Develop, then I'll play Research Labs. And if he calls Settle, then I'll play Destroyed World. All right. Well, I got another colony ship. <laughs> you guys like colony ship? I don't know. It seems kind of bad. Uh, okay, so... I mean, I guess I'm keeping this colony ship because I can colony ship out to Earth World. Um, I will discard... I think the alien robot ship is a... Dead dream. All right. Oh, and I drew drop ships. <laughs> Bad. Maybe I shouldn't have discarded. I should have discarded colony ship. I shouldn't have listened to you guys. I should have uh, uh, listened to my heart and just discarded the colony ship. Um, okay. So we both have cards. I'm just going to explore produce, honestly. The only problem is if he settles, then I'm like turbo fucked. But hopefully I draw something to, to settle. So I feel like it'll just be so embarrassing to have to settle to Earth World. Um, I could also develop produce and bring out this merchant guild, but I think that's a little too crazy because you know I'll lose my entire hand. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm just going to put a brown on the windfall world and hope he doesn't call double settle like he just did. Oh man, I am screwed. Okay. So he drew settles and I didn't, and so this is pretty bad. Alright, well we'll play this. Why not? Man, that was like the worst thing I could have seen is him double settling there. Maybe, yeah, like, because now he's gonna, I'm going to produce and he's going to get a lot of stuff out of it. Okay, I think... I think the research lab is too slow at this point. Colony ships I should get rid of. Because I, I, I think dropship might be kind of a decent plan here. Get rid of Merchant Guild. This is pre-buffed Merchant Guild, so I shouldn't value it that highly. All right. Okay, so he has... I mean, this is not that bad for him to get two blue goods. It's probably fine. Uh, that said, I still have to explore trade because he still has more cards than me. Jesus. Because I play, I wasted all this my money on Tourist World. <laughs> all right. Oh, he develops. That's not bad. Discard this. Because he I think I can play this because it's like discounted a card. Because I'll trade it up, I'll trade it back this turn. 
And then I can like try and go into maybe a brown strategy. Maybe. Uh, oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, and let's get rid of this, because I'm going brown now. We can, and let's get rid of the military plan too. Okay. I won't lie, this is looking pretty shitty. But let's explore produce and hope he doesn't produce. Oh, he produced. Okay. Oh, but I drew good cards finally. That's good. Um. So I have more cards in him than he than he does. This might be the time to just double settle. Um. Yeah, let's just double settle. Oh wait, no, I don't have two military. So I, I can't actually double settle. I can only play one. Um, I am screwed. Oh, man. Okay. So I think my play here is still double settle, but I double settle the plague world. Or I can settle trade the merchant world. This is definitely too weak, too slow. Oh, man. This is, this is yeah, okay. This, this is, I didn't find a good plan. Yeah, he's he's gonna just like consume produce me all day. He's got six going, six per turn. Uh, I guess my best bet, yeah, is to double settle. Hope he misses. Yep, I'll play this. Why not? Uh. Yeah, definitely keeping the diversified economy. That's like my only chance. He wasted. I, think, I feel like playing, calling the develop phase just to play export duties when you're consumed times tuning is not the best play. I don't think that's the play, but. Alright, we'll discard a little minus because I can't actually play that. Ooh, wow, that was a nice draw. Okay. Nice. Okay. He only has three cards in his hand, but he's up 10 points, so like. Game's over, but <laughs> all right. But I think it's going to. Uh, I think this is a settle produce. No, I should develop produce, probably. Ugh, okay. Oh, yeah. Let's consume my good. He has three brown win. He has three windfalls, and they don't combo with him. So I think producing is decent here. And my other play should be like develop, I guess. The only issue here is that. Oh no, I've got plenty of stuff. Okay. So if he doesn't call produce, then I get the bonus from my conglomerate. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, but he does. All right, so I develop. And I think I'll get rid of that, and that is interesting to get rid of, maybe. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So yeah, I think, can I out-consume him? Not really. No, this game is over. This, this is, it's over. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna concede. <laughs> So uh, let's uh, go four three. Oh man! So I could only lose four more games before uh, Captain wins the bet. This is this is very exciting. Um, this is a great hand though. I can keep Galactic Engineers. Yeah, why not? Um, discard these two. Maybe keep diversified economy. Diversified economy is just really strong. Ugh. It's hard to get rid of. The Galactic Engineers is nice because um, it'll let me play both of these.
you know, I could play this. It's not that bad because this will be worth four points. I almost always, no, never mind. It's, I'm new Spartan. It's giving me minus one. I should, I should discard it. Uh, so yeah, it's between diversified economy and galactic engineers, I guess. Okay, let's play that. Let's get rid of the diversified economy. Maybe I overvalue that card a little bit anyway. All right, so I'm just gonna sell a trade. This is very good. Straightforward, I think. Okay, so he produced on Comet Zone. Um, I think I'm just gonna double develop to punish him going so low. He will probably trade produce. Given that he's trade producing, nah, I still think I want to double develop. And play this. I can double settle and bring out both of these. That's pretty sick. Okay, I'm obviously not going to get any value out of Galactic Renaissance. That's an easy discard. Okay, and he missed both of those, so now I'm ahead on points and I have cool stuff out. Uh, so I could settle trade here. Hmm. I think I'll just double settle now. Well, actually, it's hard to say. I mean, we're tight on cards, so maybe it's not the smartest to just keep going aggro. Uh, the problem is if I settle and he plays another producing world, then I am in trouble. So it's not trivial what I should do. He's probably going to call produce again, so I should probably just double settle and play New Vinland and Galactic Engineers. Alternatively, I could develop, settle, developing the Replicant Robots, and then settling uh, Galactic Engineers. And that gives me a leech on the produce phase decently well. Pangalactic Civ, gross. Um, so let's see, what would I discard here? I play Replicant Robots. Man, the military dream actually looks kind of fun here, right? Just double settling into like Rebel Warrior Race and Lost Alien Warship while he does stuff. And then I trade next turn and I have a ton of. Uh, yeah, okay, let's just, let's just go all, all in on the military thing. This is pretty good, right? Just double settling. Lost uh, these things for free. They're both free. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm miscounting. No, I'm not, I'm not miscounting yet. So I, I just get two worlds for free. One of them is going to die to the my public works, but that's fine. I'll just try, I can trade the other one next turn. And maybe settle the Galactic Engineers. Okay, let's double settle. Imperium Armaments World, okay. Interesting. Oh, he uses to play Reptilian Wings. Interesting, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now I can settle one more time, right? Did he, what did he do? He, did he trade? Yeah, he traded. Okay, um, hmm. Alien is two. So this is four points so far. <laughs> I might actually, that would be really, this is, this is a fun hand. <clears throat> so I can develop trade, but then if I play export duties, I'm going to overflow on cards. So I think I'll just settle trade and play Galactic Engineers here. Um, it's not the best, but it will 
give me a leech on the produce phase, which I'm currently lacking, which is really dangerous. And what I kind of what I hate about going military and uh, base race. Okay, what does he do? He trade produces. Okay. Get rid of this, of course. I think this is going. This is going. Okay. Oh wow, look at all these alien cards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Look at all the alien cards, this is great. So I'm gonna score, yeah, so I can just like develop, uh... I can develop this and then trade again. Yeah, I think, I think I'm just gonna develop trade. Um... And he missed his subtle. That's great to see. Uh, and he doesn't have any... He only has one consume power so far. Um, yeah, so I think my plan is to develop trade the alien tech research out. And hopefully I draw like a bunch of alien worlds and I can just like double subtle over and over again. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Yep, let's go. He develops consumes times two. Uh, okay, so I'm getting rid of New Vinland. I think I'll get rid of this. I have a public works already. Get rid of maybe the other one. This is like totally useless to me, so maybe I'll get rid of that first. And then I don't think I'm gonna have time to play this thing. Well, maybe. Maybe if I draw, I might play this if I draw like New Galactic Order. Nah, I don't think that looks so. Let's play this. One card to discard. So what did I draw? Oh wow, I drew cool stuff. How much military? I have seven military. So this is going to be eleven points. <sighs> okay. So if I just double settle twice in a row, is he really going to score? So first time I double settle, uh, I score five points plus four points is nine points. And this is 11 points. So is he really going to score 20 points? No, I'll just double settle twice to end the game. Uh, what did he do? He consumed produced. So I think I want to play these first because I'll score a couple points just from goods. All right, and I guess I'm keeping those. I don't know. I can I can literally get rid of all of my other planets because I know all everything I'm going to play on planets for the rest of the game. <clears throat> That's fun, the double aliens. Okay. And then I'll just double settle again, and I think I win. He will score 8 points, but I'll score 11. So, yeah, military wins. How often do you see that guy is in base race? That's pretty sick. Nice, nice game. Yeah. Yeah, Radix. This is uh, just the base. This is just Kelvin's AI. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have to consume these. Okay, game's over. All right. So that marks my fifth victory, I believe. Yeah, it's a desktop version, Radix. I, did, I could have streamed on my iPad, but then I have to link the iPad, and it's kind of a pain, too. So, Ooh, I have Comet Zone in my hand, and Tourist World. Those are both pretty good. I have all worlds. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Kat. What, do you, what, what's, what is your plan here? Do you have a plan? Okay. So yeah, I'm just obviously explore producing. There's no reason to do anything else. Hopefully I draw a development to play if he plays develop. Yeah, he plays develop. Oh, I shouldn't have discarded all my... Well, actually, the alien sentry turret would have been useless anyway. Um, I'll discard this. 
because I definitely want consumer markets in this hand. Why did he develop trade? He thought I would settle. That's interesting. Uh, so yeah, let's play this. Why not? Discarding Prosperous World, I think, is the is pretty garbage. Yeah, I think that's fair. No, let's just discard the stupid Galactic Resort. That card is terrible. All right, now I'm just going to explore trade. So I might actually draw a better blue, a better card to trade than that if he plays subtle, which he assumably will. Okay, yeah, this is decent. Okay, so I can settle the radioactive world. Glad I found that. Discarding Merchant Guild and the Prosperous World, I think. Not trivial, actually, what I should what I should discard here. Maybe Tourist World, honestly, is the discard here. I, I, man, I really, uh, yeah, I think Tourist World's probably. No, I think I want to keep Tourist World around. Um, just because if he settles again, then I can just start consuming for six a turn, and I don't think he can beat that. Okay, let's get rid of Merchant World. Merchant World Process World? Yeah, okay. Trade here. <clears throat> All right. He has a million cards in his hand, so I'm just explore producing. I'm not, there's no reason for me to play any phases. Double settles. Okay. So Comet Zone is a must, and uh, then it's unclear what I need to do. I could play Empath World, and then let's hold on to Diversified Economy and discard these. Yeah, let's play Empath World. Um, and then I can explore trade next round. That's a little slow, honestly, but uh, I do draw one card off of the Comet Zone. So let's yeah, let's explore trade and see what he does. Okay, trade produces. Interesting. Is that the play for him really? Okay. Get rid of this, I can't play it. Let's play this. And let's consume. Oh no. This one. You know, there's an argument here for consume for trading the three. Man, I wish I could actually go back and do that, but I can't. Okay. He has ten cards in his hand. But only two producing worlds, so I think I've got him. Uh, so I can settle. There's actually a couple of things I could do here. Uh, I can go for Galfed, but I don't think Galfed is the play. I think I'm really close to just having critical mass here. If I just settle Tourist World and consume, would that be that bad? Alternatively, I could settle Tourist World and then just produce again. If he calls Develop, then I can play... Yeah, I think this is okay. Settle to our world and produce. Let's try this. He double develops. Um, but I can play diversified economy and skip the other development. Um, 
And then I can play New Finland, actually. Is not bad, right? Let's see, what are my consume powers looking like? Yeah, New Finland's fine, I think, here. Is an extra produce world? Now nah, I'll just settle a tourist world. Let's go crazy. Oh wait, no, no, no. He didn't. He didn't trade. So. So I'm not gonna get that many cards from diversified economy. I just realized. So I should play it easy. Um, I'm, I'll keep this around because it's free-ish. All right. All right, so now I'm just going to consume produce for the rest of the game and hope that's enough. He is pretty far ahead, actually. Oh, man, develop again. I maybe actually misplayed this, but it's hard to say. Um, and... Wait, hold on. Am I... Gonna run out of the pool. Hopefully, I don't. Consume one good for one VP. Okay. Consume this for the villain. Okay, good. I didn't drain the pool. Okay. So let's produce on the green so I draw an extra card. Um. Yeah, okay. I think I've got him here. I just need to play a tourist world, I think. Yeah, tourist world does it. Maybe. No, it doesn't because I have uh, awkward. So I can I can settle the robot factory, I guess, for five points. Um, yeah, this is useless for me. Okay, so yeah, I think that's the play. So I play robot factory. <laughs> I don't think, and then and then I'll end the game by consuming. Oh, you know what, though? If he settles... For, actually, yes, yeah, so I want to settle Consume, and I'll probably settle Tourist World, actually. Because if he de plays Develop, then I can play Research Labs, and that will give me enough Consume power to consume all my goods. I think that's the play. Okay, so let's see here. So let me actually just make sure. So this is 8. So if I, if I just uh, play this for 5 points, then I consume all of these goods for 8 points, so that's 13. Whereas this, I consume these for 6, and this for 8. Yeah, this is way better. Okay. Okay. And consume 3 kinds. I wonder who will win. I don't really know. I think I will win, though. 32. Okay, yeah, I went. Great. This is kind of a grind. Why'd you guys let me play 20 fucking games? <laughs> Almost halfway there. I came with Control Z. Okay, interesting. Interesting that I never really played Tourist World. Tourist World is a little awkward. It's easy to overrate because it's so hard to actually get going. Um. Well, I can discard this thing. It's terrible. Maybe keep new military tactics. It's really awkward, though, that like these are both one-off from new military tactics being playable. Ugh, merchant guild sucks. Let's just get rid of that. All right, and let's just explore trade. Let's explore produce and hope that either if he doesn't call settle or we draw something to settle. He develops, settles. Oh man, look at this garbage hand. Ugh. Okay. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Okay. I actually have a play here. It involves me going to zero cards, but it might be worth it. Okay, let's play this. So I can play this, and then and then I can play the development life forms off of it. Discarding basically my whole hand. What crap? I, that was a misclick, so I'm gonna, I think I can choose payment. There we go. All right. 
<laughs> that would have been terrible. I think hopefully I'm allowed to do that. Okay. All right. So now I have no cards, but he has almost no cards too, so it's fine. So let's just explore trade. I have nothing else better to do. Oh yeah, this gives me an extra. Oh, he develops. Mm, spicy guy. Okay. Well, I don't have a play for that, so... Well, this actually I should keep, maybe, because it's four card... four points. Uh... Yeah, I can keep both of these. Seems reasonable. That's not a real development power, anyway. Okay. All right, so now Runaway Robots is free for me. That's great. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm clearly I clearly should produce because no matter what he does, I will outproduce him. And then I guess I could just explore here. Because I don't have a good develop right now, and so if I explore, then I might be able to find a develop for him to, to play against him. Okay, he settled anyway, that's fine. Two cards to discard. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of these two. Well, maybe that's fine. I might actually keep that as an emergency develop. Uh, it feels bad to discard Rebel Underground it's so efficient for me. It's two cards for four points at the end of the game. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's just get rid of Gen X Lab. Well, no, but that's my only developed play if I, if I, if I pass that up. Uh, okay, let's get rid of Rebel Under. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What should I do? I, I really want to keep all three. Um, Okay, let's get rid of Genetics Lab, and let's... So I'm producing this round, so clearly I shouldn't produce Runaway Robots. Instead, I should produce New Survivalists. It's quite nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the one issue here is that he has more consume powers than I do. So that's problematic. Um, one of the things I can do is I can explore, develop, to bring this thing out. The only issue is I don't have anything with a trade power yet. It's still a nice play though. Because he will almost surely want to leech this phase. And if he doesn't play that, then I can hopefully... Let's see. Yeah, so right now I'm looking... I can't play... Oh, I could just trade produce again. But trade producing puts me over cards. Yeah, Spice World has a trade power. So, I mean, eventually that will be worth one point. But really, you want developments with trade powers. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, explore, develop. He trade consumes. Interesting. That's fascinating. All right, I almost never do that. Like that's like a play that I almost never do. Um, so it's very fun to, to see him do that. All right, so let's get rid of. Yeah, those seem like reasonable ditches. All right, and let's play Trade League. It's so fun. I love playing Trade League. It's so it's a cool card. This is another card with a develop power. With a trade power rather. Okay, I can get rid of that, get rid of that, and one more card. Uh, Runaway Robots, maybe? Nah, it's free. I'll get rid of Rebel Underground, Spice World. Okay. So he only got like an extra point from his Consume Mix 2. Is that really worth it? Okay, trade good. 
Okay, consume this for our VP and consume that. Okay. Oh, I drew Tourist World. So I think this is definitely a subtle produce moment. He will catch up on worlds, but then I can catch up on uh, consume powers. I'll have enough consume powers to just go infinite, probably. All right. So let's settle produce, bringing out Tourist World. The problem with Tourist World is you have to play it on a weird time like this. Yeah, it doesn't get six devs. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. Um, and, but yeah, I think this is the play. Let's settle produce. And let's play public works. I think public works is better. I could also play colony ship to save a couple cards, but I don't think that's the play. Okay. Um, payment for public works is I'll go to my spare contact specialist, of course. Maybe I should have played colony ship, save the cards. All right, this is worse. So I'll get rid of that. I think I'm ditching gem world and. I think these are the only cards I want, really. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then he only has two. He still only has two. He can. Oh, but he got. This is so. But he's getting six a turn, and I'm getting uh, eight a turn. Um. So will I win? This is actually kind of tricky. It depends on what he does here. Let's see what he does here. He explore. Okay. Let's just get rid of these two. Wait, no. Isn't this one? Yeah, this is like strictly better. <laughs> oh, it has a trade power too. All right. Um, okay, so let's consume two goods. And I think now is not the time for cards. Um, consume good for one VP. Uh, so I, I won't drain the pool. And I can hopefully like settle trade to score a few more points. Or rather settle consume. Yeah, I don't think I'm. I don't think it's wise for me to use the trade power. I think I should just consume the good. Okay, produce and so now there's two left, and so now this is going to be close. But let's see. I gained two points on him here from the. Uh, so yeah, I just need to settle consume and hope for the best. He explore consumes. Okay. Oh wow. Can I play that? I don't think I can. Nah, there's no way I can. Alright, so this is how many? Let's just count points. This I get to consume a good for two points, so it's three. And as a trade power, so it's four. So I guess I'm playing this. This is actually the same as this, but it costs me more cards. He played Spaceport, so we actually, yes, yeah, so I won. That's not good enough. Okay, don't want to trade good. Consume not too good for one card, no, okay. I went on card, I went on tie breaks. It's funny. <laughs> All right, tie breaks. <laughs> Woo. All right, seven to three. I seem to have come back. From, I, went, I was 2 and I went seven. Now I'm seven three. That's pretty exciting. All right. So I need to win six more games. <laughs> Fuck. This will take a long time. Okay. Um, wow. 
Wow, look at this hand. This is hilarious. So I can just settle. I can just uh, double settle here, probably. Double settle and settle trade. All right. Let's actually settle this one and then settle this one. Unfortunately, he got a good hand. <laughs> that's that's pretty rough for me. Uh, he still only has four cards, so I think I'm settling again. Hopefully, this time he doesn't have any more cards to any more good cards. So he settled produced, which means I should play this thing. Or he trade produced, which means since he tripped, since he produced again, I should just play Galactic Engineers to get the the leech. Black market trade mode was actually amazing for him. Jeez. Okay. Two cards. I'll get rid of these two. All right. Um, I'll develop trade here and play new economy. I'm just gonna spam him out with devs probably. If he plays settle, then I can play like one of these crappy cards. Who cares? Yep, develop trade is good. He did not play a. Uh... I just realized he's making a lot of cards per turn. But okay, good. He didn't play anything good. Let's get rid of this. Um, this is out of my reach and not that good, so I can get rid of it. I think deficit spending is coming. <laughs> I don't need this. And I don't need... I think I don't need this. And... Oh, it's so hard to pick. I think I'm just going to get rid of those. Alright. Uh, oh, I have this. This is pretty good, right? <laughs> New Galactic Order. It's going to be at least five points. Yeah, let's try it. Let's develop it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to develop trade for the entire game. And just, like, play good stuff. He consumes now. Okay. Let's get rid of all these cards, right? I don't really want those. Uh, it's too late to call subtle because he's got so many cards. Oh, no, he only has three cards in his hand. Oh, whoa, this is a crazy. That's interesting. Okay. Um, I don't want diversified economy. Yeah, that's great. Maybe I'll keep the alien card. Honestly. <laughs> Alright. He's giving me so many cards. This is hilarious. What a funny game. This is a lot. It's really funny. We both have like infinite cards. Uh, oh, this is worth five points. It might be time to slow down. Well, it might be time to double develop here. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to double develop. Because <clears throat> I can play public works and drop ships. I still draw a card off of that. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Another military strategy. Very interesting. But this is just so efficient, right? Let's get rid of these crappy cards. Don't want that. That's like negative victory points now. Let's draw a card. Assume it's good. Okay. 
Oh, you can mouse over and see how many VPs it is. That's kind of nice. Yeah, four VPs. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just double develop again. Cons consumer markets is pretty strong here. Alternatively, I could just develop trade. How close is the game to ending? Not very close. The question is, do I need the cards or not? Um, yeah, develop trading is pretty interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of cards. Uh, because, yeah, because he's producing every turn for me. Notably, he has a leech on the develop phase this time. So it's not as worth it. I still think it's worth it, though, right? Yeah, still, still probably worth it to just keep... So it's either develop, trade, or double develop. Hello! I'm still streaming. I am... Uh, 7 and 3. So I'm halfway done with the number of games. So you're up 7 to 3. 7 to 3, yep. So at this current win rate, Captain will lose the bet. Suck it, Captain! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's, uh, let's develop trade, I think, and play consumer markets. Now, uh, yeah, develop trade, I think, is the best. Let's see. Okay. So I will play consumer markets as planned. I think I'll keep research labs around because it is, it does have a consume power. Uh, this thing is awful. <laughs> it's one of the worst cards. Okay. This. Okay. Let's get rid of all those. Let's grab this. Let's draw a card. Why not? Uh, and what are my options? Doesn't matter. Oh, I just drew Galactic Federation. That's pretty strong. The game's over. It's all over. I have t six tabs out already. I mean, I think I was winning beforehand, but now the, uh, uh, what was awful? Uh, I forget what I said was awful. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just double developing here. Or I can develop trade. I don't know. It's... Whatever. It's just... It doesn't matter. Uh, I guess I will develop trade here. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of this. And that is pretty bad. This is worth three points, so I might keep that around. Um, I should keep Rebel Warrior Race, I think. But hold on, yeah, what, I have to pick two of these. This is crap, I'll just get rid of this. Okay. Trade this. Uh, Windfall World. Okay. Three cards to discard. Man, I... I don't know. Okay, so uh, now I have to decide what my play is. Obviously, I'm not playing those card cards. Oh, what? Did I, I did not mean to discard deficit spending. Shit. All right. Wait, I can control Z. Okay. All right. Let's keep def deficit spending. All right. So I can develop. Uh, develop, settle, and then this is worth three points, well, four points because of Galactic Federation, six points. I think I have eight military, so this is just six points. I should probably just play the six-point call play. Um, I could just double settle here because this is worth four points and this is worth six points. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Let's see, but this is this is more than four points by a lot. So let's not let's develop settle. That's the most points for me, which is hopefully what I need to win. Okay. So he did consume. 
So I will play Deficit Spending. That's a pretty strong card. And I'll settle this. And uh, the important one is I need to consume from hand for two more points. And draw one and consume my novelty. All right, another stunning win. All right, so I am now eight and three. Whew. Are you at a uh, dinner, by the way? Want me to bring you dinner? Yeah. That'd be nice. Well, you probably want some. Like soylent. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a strange hand because I don't have any. All right. I can do um, explore, settle, and just bring out New Vinland. Uh, or actually, explore, develop might be better with replicant robots. <laughs> I don't know. This is this is kind of a weird hand. I'd really like to go consumer markets, but I don't know if I have the time for that. Things, these bottles come with these like annoying lids on them now. Before you could just open the cap and start eating, so that like they increase the preparation time. Mm. All right, let's just explore settle. Hope that New Vinland is a better card than whatever he plays. Takes four plus five. You're nuts. You're crazy, dude. You're not supposed to do that. All right. So I settle this. Um. Get rid of these two, I guess. All right. And here, this is a subtle trade, I think. Not good enough. Yeah, he missed all of his phases. That's interesting. What version of the AI is this? It's 0.9.4, which is the latest Keldon AI. I just Googled Keldon's AI. Well, let's not listen to myself. I Googled Keldon AI and I just downloaded the Windows installer. Uh. Let's see, so I have some options here. What's really looking pretty good here is just double settling um, to punish his lack of cards, and he's not going to make that many points. He might even produce for me if I double settle here. My other option is I can double develop, bringing out Interstellar Bank and consumer markets. That's also really strong. Hmm. I don't really like double settle because Prosperous World is not amazing. So let's just double develop here. 
Oh, he settled for me. You're so nice. Notably, drop ships is an option here. Especially since I can get rid of like Empath World, I think. Because yeah, I, I prefer a lot of other cards. Okay, get some markets. Um, yeah, like I could actually go. I could go drop ships into Ostil and Warship. I just realized that. But it's still probably smarter to just. Uh, well, let's all hold on. I need four cards. Nah, let's just, yeah, I'll just go uh, with the two market strat. That's pretty strong. <laughs> this is such a pathetic uh, opening. That's, that's terrible, man. Two browns. What are you doing, dude? Grab two cards here. Um, so I have a couple options. He's got more cards than me, so I'm just going to explore produce. Double settle. Uh, Let's see here. So if I play drop ships, then I can play both of those. That's kind of fun. Let's get rid of these two. All right. Obviously, I'm playing this and this. Um, I think I'm ditching the Galactic Federation. Okay. He still has no consume power, so I can just consume produce. Uh, yep, I'm definitely winning this. Um, so let's consume uh, yep, three novelty goods. Then I can consume, yeah, this thing. And then I can just consume the this for two cards, which is not as good, but it's fine. <clears throat> oh, uh, let's get rid of this and this. Wait, no. Let's let's play optimally here. Get rid of my two duplicates. Um. So let's see here. The best play is, I mean, it feels so bad to agonize over the play. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to win. But I could like settle consume here for, let's see, this would be, I could also develop consume. Develop consuming, this would be two points, three, five, uh, Six, seven points, seven point play. That's pretty good. Yeah, let's just do that. Oops, I went too many. Draw a lot. Um, And this, and there. Okay, I win. Oh wait, no, I don't. It's uh, there's two left. Not oh, crap. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I thought the game was gonna be over. But he just doesn't know a way to <laughs> to consume cards. Uh. I'll just settle consume to end the game. Oh, 
Okay, I can play. Uh, hmm. I think this is the most efficient. I'll play this thing. And uh, draw one. Let's do this. All right. 44 to 15, another close game. Sorry about the train in the background. All right. Oh, contact specialist. Oh man, yes. This is like the, the wombo combo. All right, so the only issue here is that if he subtle trades, then I'm really screwed. But he probably won't. I can probably... No, wait. I can just develop settle. And that will immediately bring this out. And then I can settle trade the next turn. I think develop settling is the best play here. He develop produces. Okay. All right, and then I just settle trade. Well, he has one card in hand, and I probably get a free, free settle. Uh, yeah, of course I want the card, right? All right, now what? He still has one card in hand, so... <laughs> um, I could just, like, double develop and let him eat the card, and I'll just keep leeching off. Double develop looks all right. Why would I apologize for quality infrastructure? <laughs> All right. Uh, that was pretty good. Uh, yeah, why would I apologize for quality infrastructure next to my house? All right. So I can, because I have old earth, I can trade here. And that's actually not the worst. As tempting as it is to just like go all out, I don't want to get to be that low card. Uh, all right, let's develop trade. He's producing again. So technically, this is better, right? Playing this thing? No, I think it's also like Galphed. You know, I've never seen the AI play Galphed. What's up with that, right? Uh, free trade association is bad. Let's go back up. Um, yeah, I don't think he's getting enough. He's getting four points a turn, and I'm gonna get more than that, I think. I actually have to be careful here. Uh, that I don't just die to four VP a turn. But I don't think I will. I'm just I'm gonna slowly start accruing more and more cards now. Let's 
just double develop here. This is free, so let's play that first. Uh, and then let's play Merchant Guild, I believe. Wait, no, Consumer Markets is one less. No, Merchant Guild is the best, I think. I could also just, uh, I could just play this. That saves me a lot of cards. Let's just play this. And then, is it time to start consuming the good? No. I'll still draw cards. Okay, let's double develop again. It's actually unclear that I'm going to win here. But I think I will because I have Galfed and it's just going to generate a lot of value and you can't play anything. Uh, yeah, let's play this one first. Uh, let's play this one first. Not this one. Uh, one card. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ooh, Diversified Economy is kind of nice. But now I'll play this. Two cards. Uh, and of course I will still take the card. Okay, so now I've caught up to him. Um, uh, so yeah, I think I'll just keep double developing. Because he, he's making four points a turn, and if as long as I play two... Uh, Developments, I'm scoring at least four points a turn. Yeah, so this is like obviously great. Yeah, I have him. He's checkmated, I think. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, this is one card, so I might as well. The problem with this is it's only one point. <laughs> no, it's two. It's three points because uh, Galactic Federation. But like, it's still better to play this. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um. And let's play this, why not? Uh, and I think the time has come to consume this for a point instead of for a card. But it could it's still arguable that I could do it for a card. But I think for my last turn I'll play a uh, terraformed world for five points. Um, pointer card. That's so hard. Uh, no, never mind. I'm drawing a lot of cards from diversified economy and stuff. Let's just consume it for a point. Yeah, I have to discard. I mean, that was that was almost a blunder. Another blunder. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't care. All right. Uh. So this is one point. Um, I can settle consume, settling galactic trendsetters. Well, these are exactly the same number of points. Uh, whatever, let's just settle consume. Yeah, nothing's better than five points, right? Or rather, it's like seven, well, yeah, it's five points. Oh, he developed? What the hell? Why did he wait until this? What? <laughs> All right. So let's see here. I need six cards. This is going to cost me three cards, so four cards. So I have enough. But do I even want that one? Yeah, this is worth three points because it's... It's just worth an extra point because it's a six out. Why did he play that? All right, and then I can play this. I think Captain's idea that like it doesn't matter, so it's basically conceding is, uh, is accurate. 
All right, 36 to 27. It, it was it ended up pretty close, but I think I feel like the the AI really overvalues going all in on four points a turn. I think four points a turn is very beautiful. All right. What are you guys talking about? Okay. Uh, this is almost a great hand. I just need a, any military world at all. Uh, let's keep new military tactics around. Get rid of new economy. I'm just going to explore. Actually, uh, get rid of New Earth. Maybe New Earth is fine to play. I don't know. I could play like mining robots into New Earth. Nah, let's get rid of New Economy. Okay, let's get, let's do this. And I'm just going to explore a bill up this turn because I don't have anything else. And I have a public works so that I can play and hopefully make make something of my life. He settle produced. You know, mining league is pretty strong. Okay. So let's develop this, and we can settle this. And like, look at all this brown shit in my <laughs> in my hands. <laughs> That's hilarious, right? All right. So I guess I'll get rid of the Space Marines, even though it feels awful. I think that's correct. Um, he has more cards than me, so I might justify just explore trading here. Especially since if he settles and I miss the settle, then I'm kind of fucked. So I think explore trading is decent. He settled. But I do have Radioactive World, so I guess that's fine. Uh, yep, let's settle this. Do I want to? Yeah, I think I do. Uh, getting rid of these two, and trading this, and consuming this. Okay. And he produced. So he is, I think he's going to go all on a four points a turn again, to be honest. Uh, but he has one card of income, at least, this time around. So it's maybe going to be closer. Uh, I will, because uh, he's low on cards, I'll just develop tr Settle here. I think, I think that's the play. The only problem is that, the, I mean, Runaway robot, Robots isn't great, but it's going to be good for mining league later. Alright, let's try this. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to. I can keep this. I don't want to get. I don't have this in my hand. Uh, then let's settle. He misses development, but he didn't miss his settle, so that's awkward. The cool thing is that this is a nice combo. I get to draw a card off of this. Uh, so I think I'm just going to not play any phases this round and explore trade. Unfortunately, he's like off to the races. I think this is going to be a loss. Uh, this looks like a loss to me. Uh, but let's see here. Can I develop? No, I can't develop. Yeah, I think I'm just exploring. It's awful. So wait, hold on. If I explore plus one, I'm going to draw a card off of this. I'm going to draw four cards. So I'll draw six cards this turn. So I'll have to discard if he doesn't call any build phases, which is possible. So let's explore plus five. Oh, hey, it's uh, Gal Fed. Oh, we have to. I think that's, I mean, I think I've got to do that. In Galfed we trust. It's not 
an amazing gal fed, but it might work. All right, that explore plus five might have won me the game. Just saying. Let's develop trade. Bringing out gal fed. This is like obviously really scary. Yeah, probably I'm losing still, but. Uh, He's consuming. That makes sense. Uh, let's play that. As long as he can't play... Oh, he didn't play a development. So he is actually a little awkward. He's only making four turn. And he just went low, low hand. So maybe I've got him. I don't know. Uh, let's get rid of all this garbage, right? That's garbage. To the market, some final plane. Mm, I think maybe this is too far, too too much of a dream. Trade. Okay. Now I can develop trade again, or now I can double develop even. Now let's develop trade. Yeah, it's so this is I'm behind a lot, so I might lose here. We'll see. Uh, let's develop this. This is worth a lot of points. And oh, he settled. Shit. Hold on, let me control Z. Uh. Oh well, never mind. I have to. Yeah, okay. And <laughs> Lost Species Harp World. But he's not even producing this round. That's interesting. And weird. It's a weird setup. Okay, uh we can play this. Wait, hold on. I do like play a brown one, but now let's just play this. It's free. Okay, um, <clears throat> trick that, consume this. Okay, so I have, I have a shot of winning this. He's at two cards. He only has two goods on his, yeah, I might have this. Uh, is he draining the V pool? He's not draining the V people this turn either. So I can double develop, and then I can play have another build phase left over uh, at the end of this. So yeah, let's double develop, and then next and then next turn I can whatever consume. Yeah, because he's not draining the VP pool this turn, so I think I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna win. This SETI survey is pretty strong, right? So one, two, three, four, five points. Yeah. What else, what else am I going to play? Uh, terraforming robots? Wait, do I have enough consume powers? I do have enough consume powers, right? I just need to consume... Uh, yeah, I have three consume powers. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's an open question of what my last card is going to be. Uh, and also, what, what am I going to play for my life? All right, well, let's play this first. I know I want to play this. I can't play this. I don't have the military for it. I don't want to play that. Uh, and this is maybe too expensive. Now let's get rid of contact specialist. OK. And then for my last card, I think I'm just going to play. Well, this will give me more cards. Yeah, this gives me more cards, right? Because I so it'll draw a card. But actually, that's the same as this, right? Uh, yeah, I, I agree that bot seems to have punted. <laughs> uh, whatever, let's play this. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, and then, draw a card there. Okay, so let's see here. I can settle, consume, 
and that gives me the most points, I believe, because I either score five points here. No, oh, yeah, this was pretty good, right? Because this is uh, uh, has development with an explore power, so this is three points, three points, four points because of the Galfed. Nah, it's stupid. Let's just settle this thing. Settle consume. He is exploring? Yeah, exploring. Why aren't you even... Consume your goods? Come on, dude. Surely you should consume your goods. Because I'm gonna... the game's gonna end anyway, so... whatever. All right, 44. Actually, that was really close because he played trendsetters. Wow. Okay. That was actually closer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, drop that big. Yeah, okay. Interesting. You know, I almost lost because this was. But still, he could have explored plus five. I don't know. Whatever. Let's not let's not question the the wisdom of the bot too much. Alright, I only need to play, potentially I only need to play two more games, right? Yeah, Bob only lost by two. It was pretty close. It's, it's maybe he didn't have a better move. I don't know. Because, like, he didn't have any cards. He only had three cards. He couldn't, if he had uh, only explore plus five, he wouldn't have been able to play Galactic Trendsetters. Still, though, I, I kind of think that consuming is the play. But, like, this thing, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he calped it correctly. Uh, let's see, I have Space Marines. I kind of think I should just explore Subtle Mining World. Let's get rid of that. And open question of whether I keep... I don't like Library of Underground. Let's just get rid of it. Alright, so let's just explore Subtle, I think. If I explore Settle, then I can play both things, even if he plays Develop. Get that mining world out. Oh, he didn't play... Uh, he explored Traded. Huh. Well, I got... I've got... This will be my third game in a row that I've gotten Galfa. Alright, well, I'm not complaining. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Contact Specialist, I think. Oh, because I have a blue military already. This is a tough... I have to, like, kill some babies here. Okay, and then I guess new economy. Although it's so nice to have both of those, but... I just need the cheap... Oh, man, look at how many cards he has. I might lose this. This, this could be a loss. Alright, explore. So I'm just... obviously I'm just explore... producing and just, like, holding on for dear life while he plays build phases at me. Uh... Do I even want to play Expanding Colony? I think no. Uh, Contact Specialist is still kind of interesting, but I think I think New Military Tactics is better. I'm not going to play Expanding Colony. Your card's so bad. All right. Oh my god, he played Common Zone. Oh, look at this draw. Oh my, what is this? This is cancerous. <laughs> Game is over. Wait, did I... Yeah, I, I recorded my third loss, right? Yeah, okay. Well, we can look at the VOD anyway if I messed up. Uh, well, yeah, there's nothing really for me to do except for explore trade. Right? Will that leave me over on cards? I'll have four from here, two from there. Maybe if he produces, I'll be over on cards. Whatever. All right. Research labs? 
sure. Let's do it. Let's do research labs. At least I have a leech on the produce phase. But still, he's... Oh my... Why you can go... <laughs> what is that draw? Oh man. That's brutal. Um, this game is so over. Maybe, maybe this is just conceding. Oh man, this is... Oh man. Okay, so let's, let's explore develop and I can leech off of the trade phase by playing this it's not it's not awful oh he developed produced ah oh, I tricked him okay yeah he thought I would trade but I was too smart for him so his produce does nothing. That's fun. That might actually... Is this a comeback? The question is though, I can't necessarily play... Uh, I can't play Trade League, obviously, because he didn't trade. I don't know if I can play Galfit here. You know, let's, I think I can get her away with Galfit. Let's see, one, two... Yeah, yeah, I think I can do it. Um, and I will obviously pitch this. This guy can go. This guy can go. Obviously, I have to keep Trade League around. So let's just get rid of Artist Colony, too. And keep, I need the Expedition Force just in case he settles. Um, okay. And then let's just keep exploring, because I have research labs. What the heck? Oh, God. What is that? He drew all of the Brown Town cards. Every single one of them. Oh, okay, now I've lost. For sure. Uh, all right, well, let's explore again. Explore, develop. And I play Trade League this time. Uh, and I trade, that's good. I mean, I, I'm getting a lot of card flow. Uh, well, let's, let, let's not concede. Let's just see how, let's play it out. Let's just see what happens. I'm pretty sure I've lost, but I can play this thing. It's not bad. Two, one. Oh wait, I don't need this. This thing is really like too too trash. And I can develop this. And I think I still have to look. I'm actually holding pace with him. This could be a win. All right. Trade. Oh, wait, no, but he hasn't consumed yet. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe he'll throw. It's possible he'll throw. Oh, I, I drew garbage, too. Uh, all right. Yeah, export duties I don't can't even play. So I'd have to play, like, Replicant of Robots this round. Um, and, uh, you can double develop, I guess. Yeah, there's not really much I can do here. We settled. You fool. All right, so let's, um... Build that. And I need to develop Expedition Force so that I can play this thing. Um, oh, but he's ending the game. Uh, okay, game's over.
Alright. So that is my first loss in a while. So this is kind of interesting. I really need drop ships out so I can settle trade pirate world, but that's like so hard to do. All right, well, let's try it anyway. Let's explore develop. He did, oh, he settle traded. You have a settle? Oh man. Uh, frig. And I didn't draw any cells. Oh, uh, okay, this might be another loss. I still think I should do it though, as bad as it feels. Let's get rid of these three, because I'll keep the bank. The problem is I have to eat it, right? I have to eat the card. Um, but I can still. See, he only has six cards, so maybe he won't punish me too hard and I can just safely explore produce. Let's see, no subtle. Oh, okay. Um, wait, uh, tourist world or consumer market? It's hard to say. Let's do this. Um, we can... Explore trade or develop trade. Explore trade if he doesn't call a build phase, if he just produces, will cause me to go over cards. So let's develop trade. Mm. Terraform robots? Or new consumer markets? I don't know. Get rid of the consumer markets. Uh, so here I can develop Settle to bring out Lost Species Arc World with my colony ship. It's not amazing, but it's sort of a plan. Consume produces, okay. I could just discard my whole hand, but let's not do that. Okay, so now um, I can double develop and uh, play Trade League to leech off his produce phase or his consume phase. And maybe I'll be okay here. Let's see. He, he's obviously making he's making six a turn, which is pretty good. Uh, all right. So let's do the. Let's see, I think the deficit spending first. Discarding this crappy card. And then this thing. Which it's like all my cards. Let's see, do I want, what do I want to keep? I think I want to keep terraforming robots and ditch mining leagues. I don't have any brown cards out yet. That seems decent. Oh man, look how far behind I am though. This is bad. Oh, okay. But he he didn't um Oh we didn't produce, never mind. Alright, I'm not going to consume. Done. Alright. So now I can double develop out terraforming robots and new economy. For what that's worth. Eh. 
is such a big deficit though, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can get rid of these two. The problem was it just this drop ships was so slow, right? And I got punished by this a settle here of New Vinland. Um, oh, and he settle traded. He had destroyed world. Holder of destroyed world is hard to beat. Uh, yep, I'll develop this. Five cons. Okay. You know, actually, I should probably keep. Probably should keep Terraform World in my hand. Draw a card. Uh, trade the good. Oh, wow, I, I, I locked into Galfed. Um, is the game ending next turn? It is. The game is ending next turn. Alright, so let's see. Do I want to... Um, discard? I think I do. Let's see, I have four military, so I can't play this. That's sad. Um, I'll probably just play Galfed and Replicant Robots. Which means I have, let's see, this will cost me six cards total because I have Interstellar Bank. Well, it costs seven normally, yeah, so it costs me five cards total. And then this will cost me, this will be free. So I think I can go down. Uh, Oh, wait, well, I don't need to play Replicant Robots. I can play Expedition Force, maybe, if he settles, which he might. You never know. Okay. Wow, I'm only down one, and Galactic Federation is coming. Uh, oh, and I can play this. This is worth extra points for me, because I... Uh, yeah, let's double develop. I'm for sure I'm double developing. Uh, oh, this is... I have one Windfall World, so it's worth two points. So it's worth uh, four points, six points, because I have New Economy and Galfed out. Well, I will have it out. What did he play? He... Okay, so yeah, this is clearly the play. Let's play Galactic Federation. Okay, and then free trade organization. Uh, let's see, consume from hand. And uh, consume, yeah, and get one more point from this. Is that enough? It is, I win. All right. Woo. Whew. All right, so now it is 12 to 14. It is match point. Barely got there because I lucked in the Galfed. Very strong. Hey, it's Galfed. <laughs> okay, I have a one strength military world with Epsilon. That's pretty strong. Okay, so yeah, let's just settle trade here. Good, he did not pick develop. Alright, so I might... Uh, 
I think I might just explore produce here. Yeah, I'll explore produce. I have a play for whatever he does. Well, maybe that's too cowardly. Well, I'm definitely producing, because I definitely want to... Oh yeah, and I think I explore... The reason for explore producing is because I want to keep my hand... Uh, my hand, my card uh, cards high so that I can play Galfed next turn. But I mean, I could also play Interstellar Bank. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think this is the correct play, though. Okay. Um, I can leech that subtle, no problem. Um, although the next subtle will be a little annoying to play. Uh, oh man, New Earth. That's pretty scary. I mean, I just want to say that I like I beat like Alpha Wintari playing all of his. No, no, I, I lost that game. <laughs> Never mind. I won the next one, which is not as impressive. Uh, okay. So, Mining League looks good here. I'll develop trade though. Let's we'll see what he does. He develops settles. Uh. uh So let's just play Public Works, and then I have to play this card, even though I don't really like it. Um, and let's get rid of, oh, this is tough, right? I don't want to get rid of any of these cards. I mean, I guess I could like not play this. But that seems so bad. Uh, okay. Let's get rid of this for sure. Let's get rid of these three, I guess. And trade my Narsh. And uh, consume this, and consume this. Oh, he played Terraform World. Weird. Okay. So I can just develop, produce, and he won't. Yeah, okay. Why did he settle tell of terraforming world? He didn't have to call settle. I was he was the one that called it. It's it's just craziness. Okay. Alright, so I will develop uh, this bad boy. This is actually interesting. Um, I'll get rid of this. Mining League. Oh no, mining league is Playable. Um, now these are all good. All right. Oh, he settled. Okay. Well, I can play this for free, so I will. Oh shit. Uh, oh, yeah, this is correct. Yeah, that's good. This is just a windfall world to produce. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, so here I get double develop, playing export duties and trade league. Um, <clears throat> the question is whether I can afford, because he didn't play a build phase, so I can maybe afford to sneak out Alphet right now. Uh, it's probably correct. Hmm. 
five cards? Maybe I can't. Hold on. Uh... So let's see here, Galfed is five cards, so I'll draw two more cards, and then I can play Trade League, because it will cost... Alright, so hold on, I have eight cards in my hand. This will cost six cards total. Um, bring me a two, then Public Works draws a card, bring me a three, then Interstellar brings me to four, then this will cost three? Yeah. And uh, I can barely play. My math is correct, right? Okay, and let's trade the good. Uh, yeah, this guy, clearly. And. This guy. The only downside of this plan is, of course, I have a completely new hand now, so who knows what I, what I drill into, but it's probably fine. Um, I'll just double develop here. There's reasonably high odds that I'll just find another um, development to play. Yep, okay. Uh, oh, it's actually a, I'm clear which one I want. I think I want Definitely spending though. Uh, let's play this. That's a great card. Um, and then let's play a diversified economy, I think is better than the other one. Okay. And unfortunately, I have like way too many cards. Uh, so instead of trading it, I can consume it. Put a card in a VP. And then, uh, next turn, I can double develop again. Um, and win the game. And these will probably plenty. So yeah, let's definitely consume two cards. Alright, I'll just double develop. He double settles. So hold on, I have to now concentrate here. Uh, first let's play this. Um, two cards. These two. Like, worst case scenario, I can play like New Sparta into a Rebel Warrior race. So I don't think I really have to even count. Let's play this next. Discarding this guy, and I. Ooh, I could play those two. Three cards. So let's see here. If I do this, then I can play. Uh, Maybe I want to keep this guy, right? This is probably not, this is not happening. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's see here. I have... So I can play, I can definitely play this thing, right, for two. So wait, hold on, I can play New Sparta and... No, I can't play New Sparta. All right. I can, oh, I mean, I can't play New Sparta and this Rebel base. Like I was thinking I could. But I can play New Sparta and this thing, if that matters, but it doesn't. So I think the play is this guy. And then New Sparta is like a very lame last pick. Alright. Cool. Game over, I win. So
that was me going 13 and 4. Um, I'll change it. Yay. Okay. 13 and 4. So, uh, I think it's definitely possible to beat this 60% of the time. Um, yeah, and I, I'm going to stop because uh, <laughs> I haven't streamed for hours. Uh, so, yeah, even if I played out, I mean, I could play out the last three games to see what my record was, but I don't, I don't really want to. So, um, that's it for this stream. Um, I'll upload the VOD to YouTube probably um, if it turns out okay. And uh, thanks for uh, watching. Um, this is fun. Like, do something like this again sometime. <laughs>